Today we'll be looking at the castle I built. This is the fourth build I have done in Minecraft. Showing you the front here. We have the typical mob lava moat um, with the ascending and descending walkway and press buttons which activate the switches which make the lava thing ascend and descend which is quite nice to keep the mobs away. We have the entrance way here with the letter D for Des Moines, which is me of course. We have the open and close feature on both sides of the gate. And needs to say I ran two different lines for the open and close just cause it just worked more cleanly that way. Um, while people try to run one line, um, I tried that and Next, we're going to the main entrance with the glass ceilings, which opens up the area and does it take away from the architecture of the build as a whole. Now we're going into the feasting hall where we have some pictures and some seating areas with uh, banners. Creep, pretty much creep banners. I um, thought that was a nice touch. Um, then we go over here to the feet, um, the eating area, um, which I did in Tripwire, just to give it that kind of um, look and feel of the medieval fire roasting area. And now we're going to go to the library and where we have the bookshelves and all the books. We have staircases which go up and down the stairs. We have the enchanting area where you can enchant stuff. I'm going to have to excuse the excessive killing of the slime because they just get on my nerves. We have the iron doors which go into rooms. They're not finished yet but um, just figured to show you the doors now. As we go down the hot hallway, you'll see all this magical outlay of the, even the towers and everything like that. Um, diamond and emerald and glowstone and glass outlay. Um, just gives it a nice feel. But um, changed it up in the throne room when you have the diamond pathway. You can see, just really nice outlay showing you the floor. Um, we have the um, serenical surrounding of the throne itself. Um, we have the diamond instead of the, the red carpet entrance. Um, we have um, the floating stairway. And we have the lapis back sitting, which is also in the feasting hall. Um, now we're going to go to the um, the bed the, the bedroom just. Showing you all the deep on the ceiling work here um, with the gold and the glowstone and the um, redstone lights. Pretty much just showing you each bit of the um, thing. Now, this looks like a typical room. I mean, can't tell nothing is here but an empty room. Wait, there was a button over here, was there not? Let's click it and find out where it, what happens. Bam! We have stairs. And the ceiling's open as well. Quite nifty, if I do say so myself. We have the bedroom with the just typical bed with a little bit of design just to kind of break up the monotony. Um, as you can see, on both sides you can open and close the um, the stairwell um, 
and which was quite a bit of redstone work just to get it to work correctly um, which I'm quite proud of um, and I'll be showing you that later so let's just um, take a little bit look and let's just go ahead and check it out right now so you can see what's going on here um, we have this all this wiring which runs to this T flip flop which pretty much alternates the current via the T flip flop whether it's on or off which when it's uh, when it's off the light the top is flush when it's when it's on, the top opens and the stairway way opens as well. Well, that's pretty much um, my castle for you. Just giving you a, a quick overview look of what I've done so far and all the symmetry. Um, this castle is 100 by 58. I don't remember whether or not I said that before or not, but... I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.